I'm going to do one quick and final test of this machine before I break it down and get it packed up to go in the truck. Um, so we're going to run through all of its various features. So we're going to start, we're going to have a new roll on here. We're going to go to the back of the machine and verify that uh, what we see over there is exactly what I see here. Everything is routed correctly. Now what it's telling me to do is to align the label so that we're looking at just the webbing. Let's go around to the back of the machine. So right now, we're not between the webbing. We need to change that. Because uh, the very first thing it's going to do when you put a new roll in is it's going to measure what the distance between this piece of web and that piece of web is, and it's going to determine uh, what the distance is, and it's going to use that information to tell if there's a label missing or if the belt were to break or the webbing were to break, something like that. But it has to know that piece of information. And just for fun, how many bottles we got? One, two, three, we got five bottles over here. So we're gonna take off this label. And this will be how we confirm that in fact, that bit of math is being done correctly. So now if we just go back over to the machine, Yes, this is what we see. It's going to measure the distance. There, it did. We're going to say that we want 07 here, and we know that the gap needs to be roughly that. We don't need any advance right now. So, and we're doing a two-sided bottle. If we were doing a single-sided bottle, we would do that, but we're doing a two-sided bottle. So, let's hit run. We'll run again, and away we go. It found our broken label. So here's our bottle. This looks like our gap isn't quite right. I'm not sure which way we need to go. I wasn't looking at it well enough, but we can easily change that. We can, it's a thin bottle, so we'll take some gap away. Now here's the thing. If we just hit run right now, it's just gonna error again because we have that label missing. So we need to advance the web manually to avoid that. So let's just advance it manually until we get to pretty close. There we go. Okay, cool. So now we can start this thing up again and we should be fine. So we cleared the air. And hit run. And just like that, labeled bottles. Now here's the interesting thing. All of these various settings, if we were to turn the machine off right now, because we were running a job and we like those settings, when we turn it off, it's going to save them. So let's turn the machine off. Now, because we still have that same roll, you know, let's just say the day was over, we didn't finish that roll. Well, when we start the machine up this time, it'll give us the option to pick up where we left off. Uh, so label with exactly the same settings we had earlier. So let's put a couple of bottles on here. There's three. Now we can run the settings that we just found. The counter resets, but that's no big deal. And away we go. The machine should do exactly what we were doing a few minutes ago. Tell already that we need less gap. Let's try this one out.
That's much better. And there we go. That's one working labeling machine. We'll break it down, get it ready to ship.